Hey, what's up, collectors? It is Diego here. Um, welcome to another Sports Cards Detour. Today, I got a mail day from uh, 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 another YouTuber, uh, Tony, Psyched on Baseball Cards. Pretty cool channel. Um, he, like me, likes to show the front and the back of the cards, which I always thought was pretty cool about his channel. Um, and he uh, sent me over some cards with a little note saying... Can't pick up the note. <laughs> uh, saying hi, Diego. Just a little something I hope you can use for your collection. Wishing you and your family a very Merry Christmas, Tony. It's like on baseball cards. Thank you, Tony. And then I hope a Merry Christmas to you, too. Hope you guys enjoy the weekend and um, all the cheer. And also um, enjoy the year that comes, uh, that's coming. I'm so glad I got to. Um, interact with you so it's I, you know it's just the little things about uh, being on YouTube in the community um, what Tony has sent me was of course somebody from the Phillies we got an Aaron Nola Tops Gallery thought that was pretty cool actually that kind of like moves that background seems like it moves on me <laughs> on that uh, so we got Aaron Nola from the Phillies that's pretty cool and of course, I got a Phillies card, team card. There's Peter Borges, Tyler Goodell, or Goodell, Freddie Galvis, and Tommy Joseph. I always like Tommy Joseph. Uh, he didn't spend much time with the Phillies, so you know. Sent me over th uh, a Dennis Eckersley card, Hall of Famer. You know, because it's his A's, so might as well represent with sending me. One of the best A's that there is. Uh, as far as closing games, he sent me three Ryan Sandberg cards. He sent me the score. I believe it was 1990. 1990 score. It, I do have, but I think it's in better condition than the one I have in my binder. So if they are in better condition, I'll trade them out. This one I think I, uh, I do have, but I always welcome more. Ryan Sandberg cards, especially the ones that are illustrations, which is pretty cool. And then we got the Community Heroes. And I know mine's just dented on the one corner, so I think his is a little bit better, so I'm going to end up changing that out. Um, so there's three Ryan Sandberg cards. But if that is not enough, he sent me a couple of Will Myers cards. The first one is this purple Will Myers card from Museum Collection of 2017. Uh, you got Will Myers, uh, 24 of 99, which is pretty damn cool card. One of those upper, um, not, I don't want to say upper echelon cards, but one of those cards that are worth more money and, and breaks and stuff like that. Um, so that's a pretty cool card for him to send me. And if that wasn't a cool card for him to send me, he sends me... Something that I really did not expect, and I was like, eh, I don't know, man. Why would you send me something like this? This is awesome. Uh, I don't deserve something like this, but he sent it to me, and uh, I'm very appreciative. I really like this card, too. It, it's a 1987 uh, throwback, 35th or 30th anniversary. And this is Will Myers, 2017 Tops, the 87 version. And this right here is a Gem Mint 10 from PSA. Now, I don't have very many. Uh, actually, I could count three. <laughs> Looking at the shelf, three that I have on display that I have from PSA. Everything else is like GMA and stuff like that. But uh, a, a Gem Mint 10, uh, Will Myers, like the perfect card of a Will Myers. That is definitely a PC-worthy I, I, I'm so, I can't wait to just put this up on the shelf so I can look at it all the time. And I have to thank Tony for sending me this. Uh, it's w way above what, uh, um, way above anything that I would, uh, I don't know, expect. Um, 
I did send Tony some stuff, but I, I, I didn't expect like something like this to come back. Like, actually, I wasn't expecting anything to come back. I just wanted to send Tony a, uh, uh, Ricky Henderson card, but, uh, and some cards that he commented on, but, uh, yeah, this, this is a lot. So thanks, Tony. You definitely made a Merry Christmas with this card here. And I was reading the back of the card and, I'm a Phillies fan, so I just thought this was kind of interesting because back on July 2nd, 1993, including rain delays, the Padres and the Phillies took it 12 hours and five minutes to complete a doubleheader. And you know what's funny is I remember that game. So pretty cool stuff, man. That's awesome. I can't stop looking at it. All right, guys. So that's what Tony has sent me. Thank you very much, Tony. Psyched on baseball cards. Your link will be down below. Um, if you don't know Tony, you guys got to know him. He's one of the guys who likes to show the back of the cards, kind of like me. Like I like to occasionally show um, videos with um, seeing the back of the cards. And Tony will go through his 1960s uh darn i can't remember the year now but he'll go through some 1960 something cards and he'll flip over the 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 previous card and i like reading the backs of them so um yeah so just check them out uh until next time guys i'm out of here mm. see you pals